Welcome to C1, Section 3, Practice Exercise 3. And in this exercise, we're going to look at a simple problem. We're going to solve it using a PHP if statement, some variables, the random function, the comparison operators, and the logical operators. And we're going to use the echo statement. So you'll need to know those things to solve this problem. We're also going to look a little bit at problem solving in general and some things about how to name variables and how to set up your code when you're writing a program. So we have our problem here and what you should do is you should read this problem and you should see if you can solve it and you should pause the video now and come back and press play when you've had a go at solving this and check the solution that's offered here against what you've come up with yourself or if you get stuck just come back and play here and but you should have a go first and see if you can solve for yourself or at least make a start on it if you're not sure so we have a problem here where we are setting an age variable randomly to a number between 150 this variable is the age of a person who's going to enter cinema. If the person is under 18, they must be accompanied. And that accompaniment information is stored in a variable called is accompanied. And whenever we see this is accompanied, when, sorry, when we see this is prefix in a, in a variable name, that's a convention to tell us that that's a Boolean variable. Because it's going to be a yes or no answer to that question. Any question that you ask with is, is going to be yes or no, is it raining, etc or are or has any of those so you see those prefix to a variable name you know that's a boolean it gives you a hint so we can see that the value of this boolean variable is accompanied it's going to be true or false and the person is either accompanied or they're not it's a yes or no and we're going to randomly set this to true or false and then we're going to print a message to the user saying whether they can enter the cinema or not so let's just go into our editor here and the first thing we'll do is actually copy and paste the text of the problem. We'll create a multi-line comment here in our program and we'll copy and paste the problem in. So now we have it here handy so we can we can look at it and refer to it. And the first thing we want to do is create an age variable. So let's just create that. That's quite easy to create that. It's between 1 and 150. And now we want to test, to create an if statement and we'll test whether age is less than 18 because if it is we must print a message to say that they can't enter the cinema so if age is less than 18 so we just print that to the user and we do an else here and we just say if they're less than 18, so if they're 18 or, or over, we say welcome to the cinema. Now we can just run our program and test it to see if it works. And we're, going to, we're getting welcome to the cinema. Of course, we don't know that it works exactly because this is age variable here is being set randomly. And we can see the odds are that because it's between 1 and 150 that most people are going to be able to enter. So let's just comment out this line here, use a single line comment, and instead we'll just copy it down here, copy this bit, and we'll set this to 17 just for testing purposes here, and this person shouldn't be allowed to enter. So let's just clear the output down here at the bottom. And let's just run our program here and see what happens. Okay, so that's that seems to be working. Sorry, you must be 18 to enter. Now let's set this to 18 and let's run the program here and you can see that this saying welcome to the cinema so that seems to be working so we haven't tested all the possible cases but we, we, we may be fairly confident in this case that it's working so let's just go back here now that was part of our problem the other thing is whether they're accompanied or not so that's the second part of the problem. But before we go to tackle that, let's also have a look at this here. And let's change this 18 here. And we'll take it out. And instead, we'll create a variable up here called 
entry age. Um, or let's call it age limit. And we'll set that to 18. And instead of putting 18 in here, let's put in age limit. So if age is less than the age limit, and let's put the age limit in here. Sorry, you must be age limit to enter. So now we could change this for any film, whether it was a 12s, 15s, and 18s, etc. We can just change it here once, and it will be changed down here. So we don't have to retype here. We can use multiple values here. And also, this aids the readability of the program. So we don't have numbers arbitrarily appearing down here. And it's, these are known as magic numbers in programming. It's, it's best practice to always put your numbers that won't change up here at the top. So these are constants. They're not going to change beyond this point. So we've improved our program a little bit there, made it a bit more readable and a bit more generalizable. And we just need to, of course, test that it's working again. And let's just test for errors. OK. Now, the next part of our program is we need to create a variable called is accompanied. So let's copy and paste this here so we get the spelling correct and everything. And we'll put this in here. And this is going to be either true or false. And just let's start out by setting it to true. Now, we, we, we'll, we'll deal with that later in a minute. But we'll just leave it there for true for now. And let's just see here. So if the age is less than the age limit and they're not accompanied, they can't come in. So we need to have an AND operator in here, and we need to add a new condition to our if statement here, because previously we just said this. We're just going to evaluate to either true or false, age is less than age limit, because the if statement, oops, if statement here always looks for a true or false value in here. So age is less than age limit, that's going to be true or false. But now we're going to add another condition. We're going to add this true or false here. To another true or false, and this one is going to be whether it is accompanied is true or not. Now, if the age is less than the age limit and the person is not accompanied, so is accompanied should be false. If is accompanied is false, that means if they're not accompanied and if they're less than the age limit, sorry, you must be age limit to enter or be accompanied. Okay, now, so let's just test this here now. We'll comment this out and we'll try and create one of the conditions that we would expect to this to output. So if the person is 10, the age limit is 18, and they're not accompanied, let's set this to false. Is accompanied is false, not accompanied. Now let's see what this outputs. Sorry, you must be 18 to enter or be accompanied. Okay, now let's change this accompaniment to true. So the person is now age 10, but is accompanied is true. They are accompanied. Okay, now let's run this. Welcome to the cinema. Okay, now let's just just change our age limit back to 19 and is accompanied is equal to false. Let's just check this because if you're 19, you don't need to be accompanied. So let's just check that this works. And indeed it does. Okay. So now we can. That's that's basically our program. Another way we could write this here is to say is not accompanied. That's the same. That's semantically equivalent. Use the not operator here instead, because this is accompanied is either going to be true or false, and we just want it to be not, we want them to be not, so if they're not accompanied, so we just we need to negate that, which is exactly the same as this is equivalent to if this equals to false. So for instance, in this case, if the person is, let's just check that this, so for instance, if the person is 16, and they're not accompanied, this will be false, not accompanied, that will change to true. 16 is less than 18, that's also true, so this will both be true, so this will be echoed, sorry, you must be age limit to enter or be accompanied. Now, the last thing we have to do in this program is set this variable here, is accompanied randomly to either true or false. Now, there's a number of ways we could do this, but just to take a very simple way, we could set it to 0, 
R1. And because 0 and 1 will evaluate to true, false, or true, respectively. And just to make sure of this, to make the type safe, we can cast it to a Boolean as well here, just to make it a bit, make our code a bit better, make it a bit more explicit, even though it will run normally otherwise. Now let's just set our age, we'll keep our age at 16. And we'll keep our, so now we will just run this a couple of times, and just hopefully we'll get roughly 50% of the time that we run this, we should get welcome to the cinema, we should get sorry because they're either going to be randomly accompanied or not, and they're, they're at 16, so let's just see. Sorry, welcome, sorry, sorry, welcome, sorry, sorry, welcome, etc. And you might, there's other ways you could satisfy yourself that this is correct, but that's basically an answer to this question. So let's just, before we finish, let's fix up our program. Now we could probably put an explanation in there for the comments, but we won't put that in now. An explanation of our program. So what we really should do is tidy this up here, make it shorter, just maybe one or two lines quickly here explaining what the program does. And it doesn't have to explain in detail what you're doing, setting a number between 150. It should be just a very, very simple outline. This is a program um, that allows users to enter to a cinema based on age and accompaniment. That's it. That's exactly what you want here in the comment that describes the program. You don't want to say the age is between 1 and 150 because you're duplicating that because that's all down here in the program. You just want to give a succinct um, expression of what it does without getting into the details because the details are here in the code. And particularly if you've laid out your code well and you have these variables set up here, people will be able to read the code and figure it out very quickly and see what it does. <clears throat> so that is our uh, quick example three here. And what you can do now is you can, if you successfully completed this one, you can try this. You can expand the last example adding another variable called adult age and check that this person's age is also over 18. So it's, you obviously don't want to, if two 10 year olds are accompanying each other that's obviously a flaw in, in the program. So you just want to check, you, you want a second age called adult age which is the accompaniment age and check that that's also over 18. So you need an extra test in there. So try that example for yourself now and see if you can have a go at it.